Hey guys, welcome back to the Daydreamer Hustle. Uh, today we got a problem with our blender door actuator here, and uh, this is the sound it makes. If it will do it or not. Right there. Hear that? And I'm only getting air conditioning and air on the feet. So uh, I'm going to take this apart. There's a couple screws right up here, some Torx bits. Okay, so took out the two screws on top. Now just pull towards you and this pops out. Oh, oh okay. Forgot that that was there. screws down here might have to take those out too so I just popped this trim piece off here and I'm gonna pop this other big piece trim right off that comes out now I can take I believe this off now wiggle wiggle uh, let's see if this works oh yeah there it goes nice oh come on Oh, look at that. Right down there, you can see one actuator, two actuator down there. Perfect. It's a lot easier than the Ford. So, I'm just going to turn this on. Let's see. I'm just going to feel. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this one down here. I can feel it. But, I ordered two of them. Actually, I ordered two of them accidentally. But if they're the same part number, I'm going to change up both of them anyways. So it actually might, might work out for the best. So I'm just going to start unplugging all these plugs, and then I'll get right to it. So now I'm going to go ahead and replace this one. I'm pretty sure this should be the same as that one down there. It's just, it sort of looks like there's different mounting positions. But if it's not the right one, I'll return this one on Amazon. I'll link the product in the description below. The one that was making the noise the air door actuator was the one down below and I wasn't getting any heat or air through the top vents just the floor so um, this is the product number for the blender door blend door uh, 604-005 so I know definitely this one is making all the noise, clunking noise. So I'll start with this one. One screw. There's only three. Yeah, there's only two screws. But, uh, yeah. This one here is a little harder. It, uh, 
metal frame hits it. Here, here, here. Just turn. Open, close, open, close. Oh, yeah. Let's check this, uh, check out this new one. Well. I guess they're the same. Yeah. See what happens. bottom screw here. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Okay. One last thing I forgot. There you go. Now let's try the frost again. Yep. Yeah, I got it. So I didn't have to reinstall or change out this one, but I did anyways, because I'm already in here, so. Yeah. Air conditioning. and it works so if you're having any clunking issues under your dash and not having 
any heat flow on your defrost back here the actuators are pretty simple to get to mm -hmm. two screws on top two screws down here and all you gotta do is pop up these uh, trim pieces and literally it's that easy so like I said it's a lot easier than the Ford well if you like this video thanks for watching and hopefully this helped you out as much as uh, other videos helped me out when I was researching this so hit the thumbs up and subscribe thanks <laughs>